Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to Teach Miss Campbell. Today is part two of Array, and today we're just going to focus on multiplication equation, okay? If this is your first time learning from me, I'm so happy you're joining me, and I thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe for more amazing videos. Let's begin our lesson. So today we're going to learn how to draw a array to represent a multiplication equation. And in my first lesson, part one, I showed you all what is an array. An array is just a way of using rows and columns to organize objects into equal groups. And remember, this is a quick refresher. A row is a horizontal. It's going horizontal like you're rowing a boat. And a column is like a vertical line. It's going up and down, V. Slip it down, V. Straight up and down. V vertical. Okay? So that's what I want you to always think of. Column is vertical, up and down, like big tall columns that are right in front of a big building, or a row. Horizontal, you're rowing the boat. Okay? All right. Now, I'm going to put an equation on the board for you, and we're going to practice and review how we can create an array to represent the multiplication equation. Okay? So let's start with three times four equals, oh, don't say it, some of you may know how to know that answer, and that's awesome, good job that you know that. But now we're using an array, and I just wanna see if you can use objects to represent this. When you see this multiplication problem, three times four, you must say in your head, that means that's three groups of four, okay? So you would say three groups, Three groups of four, okay? And so that means that there are four objects in one group, right? That means there are four objects in one group. And how many groups are there? Three. So I'm gonna draw four objects. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So that's four objects. And this right here is going to be my first group, right? That's my first group. Let me go ahead and draw my second group. In each group, there are how many objects? Four. I'm going to write one, two, three, four. That's my second group, right? Now I have one more group and in each that in each, <laughs> and in that group, I need four objects. So I'm going to write one, two, three, four. And that is it, because I have three groups of four objects. There are one, two, three groups. And how many objects inside? Four, okay? So now, this represents three times four equals what do you think? If we were counting by threes, we would say three, six. So I'll use a different color to help you. I would say three, six, nine, twelve, right? Or I can count by fours and I can say four, eight, twelve. Right? So that means three groups of four. If I were to say how many rows there are, there are three rows. Because rows are going horizontal. They are going across. Going across one, two, three rows. And how many columns would we have? We would have one column, two column, three column, four. These would be one, two, three, four columns, correct? Yes, perfect, I hope you understand that. If not, keep watching, I'm gonna do another example, okay? All right, so let's begin. So now, let's try another example. Let's say five times three. Okay, we know the multiplication. Five times three equals, let's now, in our heads, 
When we're using an array, we need to remember that these are groups. They are equal groups. Remember, equal groups. An array, equal groups. To organize objects into equal groups using rows and columns, okay? So that means there are five groups of three. How many groups are there? Five. How many objects are in each group? Three, exactly. There are five groups. In each group, there are three. So let's draw that. Let me draw that out for you. I'm going to use triangles. We used circles before. Let's draw triangles. This is an object. One, two, three. That's one group. That's my one group. One group. Making a box for my arrays. Let's draw another group. In each group, there are three. One, two, three. That's my second group. All right. Let's go on to my third group. In each group, there are three. So one, two, three. Beautiful. Moving on to my fourth group. In each group, there are three objects. One, two, three, and now my last group, my fifth group, my fifth group. How many objects? Three, very good. One, two, three. So now I'm going to write here how many rows, so we know at the end, and how many columns. Now, how many rows are there? One, Going across, right? If we're going across, we'd say one, two, three, four, five. How many rows? There are five rows. How many columns are there? Let's count. One, two, three. There are three columns. So that means that's five, ten, 15, five times three equals 15, or we can count it by threes and we could say three, six, nine, 12, 15. Excellent, I hope you're enjoying this lesson and understanding. Remember, you can always refresh, click back, 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 backward to re look at, to review the video and just look back at anything that you need help with. I'm going to do one more problem. So get your writing utensils, your marker, pen, erasers, anything that you need and a piece of paper because I want to show you another problem that I want you to solve all by yourself. Okay, let's begin. This is your multiplication equation that I want you to solve at home. I hope you have your paper and pencil. Pencil is super important in case you need to erase anything. We make mistakes and it's cool. Make sure that you try your best. And remember, rows go across, right? Rows go across and columns go down. Please show me an array to represent four times six. Go ahead, begin. All right, I'm back. I hope you solved your answer and was able to show me an array. I use squares this time, and this is my array. My array shows me that there are four groups, and in each group there are six objects. So it should be four groups of six. All right, so this is one group, second group, third group, fourth group. And in each group, there are six objects. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Four rows, six columns. Four times six equals 24. You can count by fours, you can count by six, or you can count by ones, whatever is best for you. You use that strategy, okay? All right, are you ready for the last problem of the lesson? This is for you to solve at home. Those are the equations that I would love for you to solve at home. 
Please try to draw an array to represent the following multiple multiplication <laughs> equations. 5 times 4, 7 times 3, 6 times 2, 8 times 2. Remember, the 5 times 4 represents 5 groups of 4. That's my only hint that I'm going to give you. So do your best. If you need a refresher, please rewind the video and try your best. As always, I'm here to help you. Please like, subscribe for more amazing videos, and comment below, how did you do? Did you like the activity? Was it a little tricky? Do you want me to go a little faster? If so, let me know what you would like, okay? I'm here to help you, and I hope you have a wonderful lesson. Hope you have a fantastic day. Be blessed, be safe, and thank you for joining. Bye-bye.